Yeah, oh, he's running to the kitchen. Okay, buddy, I'll be right there. You want some lunch? You hungry? Okay, let's get you something. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel K. You might know me from my Instagram at Mrs. Rachel Krause. And today I am showing you a day in the life of a busy pregnant mama. I've got a lot of errands to run today mainly. <laughs> and right now I am headed to Sam's Club. I have the itchiest nose right now. So many allergies here in Michigan. I'm headed to Sam's Club to actually film a video for you guys. It will have already been up on my channel, so I'll leave it linked down below for you. But that was just a little snippet of our morning. Our morning was a little bit crazy today. Logan's been having a really hard time going down to sleep without us like rocking him fully. And he never used to do that. So we just had a little bit of a rough morning, but I got him fed, got him cleaned up and then basically just put him down to bed and that's all you missed. But what today looks like, we are actually about to head home from Michigan. If you are lost on what I'm talking about, we've been living with my in-laws in Michigan for about two months now and um, we are headed home. I am just getting a few things prepped for that. Filming a Sam's Club haul while I can. We don't have, um, I don't have a Sam's Club membership. Only my mother-in-law does. So I'm just going to be using hers today, but I oh, just wanted to like kind of take you guys around with me and show you what's up. I am pregnant. Can you even see with all the sun on me? I am pregnant with baby number two. I am seven weeks. So seven and a half weeks, something like that. Pretty crazy. It still like doesn't feel real. I have my ultrasound coming up in the next week week or so. I'm so excited to see baby and see how they're doing. Anyways, let's just get our day started. I just got done with Sam's Club and I'm headed to Chick-fil-A now. I'm actually in the drive through You can see Chick-fil-A right there and I'm going to order a couple of market salads. That's what I love to get. Um, the market salad with no blue cheese. I don't like the blue cheese. And then I also changed the dressing because um, I am gluten-free, dairy-free, which I know a lot of you guys already know that, but also going to grab some fries. This is a major pregnancy craving for me. So yay. Okay. Yeah. It's Rachel. Rachel. Yes. Can I do two market salads, please? And then can I do two large um, fries, please? Oh, you have a wonderful day. Thank you. That's a beautiful ring, by the way, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> Rachel? Perfect, thank you. So I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but if you do, I'm laughing because that guy just said, uh, I love your ring, your ring is beautiful. He said that the up the first time I came here, this was like several days ago. I don't know if he looks at everybody's rings or he's talking about my wedding ring, but I don't know. I thought that was just very interesting. So anyway, I got those two market salads. I'm super excited because they are so freaking good. So I used to get them subbed with uh, grilled nuggets. And I don't know why I ever did that. I think I did that per a recommendation of somebody, but the shaved chicken or whatever they have that comes on it is so good. It's so good. Like I don't, I don't want anything different. So freaking excited for these fries. This is what the market salad looks like. So that like shaved chicken on top that I was talking about, it's so good. They do apples, blueberries, strawberries, um, like regular lettuce. I don't know what you would call that romaine probably. And then they also have this little packet that comes with it. So I got honey mustard for one of them. I'm going to put one in the fridge and the other dressing that I got is the zesty apple cider. This one is so good, uh, but I wanted to try the honey mustard too. And then it comes with these two little packets. This, I wish they just sold in like large quantities. It is so good. And then you can also put almonds on top. And then regularly this salad would come with blue cheese, but I don't like cheese, dairy-free, and I don't like blue cheese anyway, so yum. And of course, we got some fries. Oh. Almonds and then harvest nut granola. And that granola oh, is so good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Well, like I said, I've never seen their salads either, so they look good. 
Maybe they are good. Try their Sunday, but not on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it that every Sunday we crave Chick Fil A? I have no idea. You what? know, riveting news that you guys probably don't care about, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. I had been getting honey mustard, Polynesian, and Chick-fil-A sauce. And I'm usually a diehard Chick-fil-A sauce girl. I hadn't been getting it because it contains egg and that's one of the things I'm typically egg free. And I had been getting it the past few days and eating it and I was like, yeah, it's so good. But I also got honey mustard on the side, which I don't usually get. And I was dipping things in honey mustard and I think I like honey mustard better than Chick-fil-A. Like I told you, riveting news. <laughs> That's a good boy. Ah! Are you eating french fries? Yeah. Get this. Get this. No. I think he. Nope, nope, he's giving it to go. <laughs> Derek is getting one of our bags ready. He has expertly packed the car. Oh, safety first, Tui. Safety first. Yeah, bye. <laughs> you see this? He still has plenty of room back here and there's nothing in the back seat. I am super impressed. <laughs> One last ride, huh? One last ride? Good job, buddy. <laughs>here at Meyer, which is just like a grocery store. I have tons of Meyer grocery hauls on my channel. Well, maybe like two, <laughs> but I have tons. And we're just gonna run in and grab just a few things. It's just like a mini grocery haul. So I guess you guys are getting a mini grocery haul in this vlog. I'm gonna throw um, Logie Bear in the baby carrier and we're gonna march on in there and try and get this done quickly. Are you ready to get out? Come on. here they have these kashi ones we've never tried them they're gluten-free they're vegan so we picked some up i think we're gonna try these cinnamon waffles we usually get these they were okay um i prefer the nature's path ones but i'm curious to try these so definitely grabbing some of those and we've got our bag of apples in here too we have a few bagels that we need to finish before we leave so i'm grabbing some of this kite hill chive it is on clearance for 524 that's not really clearance but we're definitely gonna grab some of this stuff it's super good If you have never tried that Tinkinyana pasta and you are gluten-free, it's so good. I love the texture. We're also gonna try some of these guys. I've heard really good things about these. We were about to go, but I saw these and they look huge. So I have to grab some. We love these guys. We saw everything we got. We got chips, cookies, soup, apples, spaghetti, 
clementines, cream cheese, waffles, and it was 32 bucks, which is not bad. We're about to run into Qdoba. We are literally at Qdoba right now, and you're probably like, well, we just got all that food. Hang on, bud, I'm almost done. Gosh, I'm getting ravaged by this wind. I don't even know if that's how you would use that word, but I don't think, you're probably like, you just bought all that food. Why do you need to get Qdoba? So with my pregnancies, uh, I get food versions and they want goulash tonight, which almost makes me want to throw up saying it, which typically I love that. It just does not sound right to me. So I'm going to grab some keto, but it's a little early four o'clock, but that means nobody will be in there and it'll be a very quick process. And then, um, just whenever they're eating dinner, I'll probably eat dinner in the other room and eat keto. <laughs> it's just the times we're living in. But if it's anything like Logan's pregnancy, it'll go away around like 14 weeks, but this is how it happened last time. It was just, I had to eat whatever sounded good to me in order to get something in my belly. And I have not been very good about eating um, enough lately. So I'm gonna run in and grab this really quick. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. Can I get a burrito bowl, please? Half and half, please. And then can we double the rice, please? And then yes, can I do pinto beans? Can I just do like double fajita veggies? No meat. Double green, please. Pico. And then can I do lettuce? And double guac, please. Yeah, that'll be it for me today. Thank you. Well, that was super easy. Literally nobody was in there, like I said. That's definitely one of my aversions right now is meat. And their entire window right here is filled with meat. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about with the meat filled window. <laughs> wow, it has been a minute since I've updated you. I showed you that I got Qdoba, came home, we ate dinner. We actually visited with some family. So I didn't really wanna pull out the camera. That just seems like, I don't know, weird. <laughs> we got ready for bed. I just put Logie Bear down and it was a very smooth bedtime for him, which I am so excited about because the past few days, it's been really hard to get him down. Hopefully he sleeps all through the night. That would be so nice. But we took showers and got in our jammies and I'm about to go downstairs and edit for the night. I'm gonna be editing that Sam's Club tour for you guys that I filmed earlier today that I told you about, but it was just a busy day full of errands. So this is not our typical day. I usually don't pack this many things into one day. We usually spend a lot more time outside and things like that, but I just thought I'd show you like a fun little errand running day and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button below, subscribe and turn on your bell notification so that you never miss another time that I post. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye!